Happy Monday, friends. How are you doing? We've officially started summer in our home, which, if I'm honest, doesn't look much different than the past three months. My kids are cooped up. It all feels like we could use a break from being at home all the time. Here at South Point, we are all feeling the pains of being disconnected from everything and everyone. And from that point, we've launched Connected. Connected is where we can all read a devotion throughout the week and have conversations about it online and through the Bible app. This week, I would like to read a devotional with you on prayer. Now, before you get all scared and nervous, please know that I'm not going to ask you to pray out loud when we finish this week up. I've learned over the years that there's not much that makes Christians more nervous than being asked to pray out loud. It's scary and it can be intimidating. We often think of prayer as a long scripted essay that has to be perfectly crafted and edited. We tend to feel like praying out loud is something that everyone in the room is judging us about. What if I don't say the right words? What if we can't think of what to say and start to stumble? There are so many questions around prayer and that's okay. Romans 20, 20 tells us, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. I would like to take this week and walk through what prayer is and why we should be praying. Prayer is simply getting to know God and our conversation with God. I love what this devotion says. So let's consider prayer as communication with God, plain and simple. God, our creator, meets us right where we are. We don't have to fix ourselves up or put on a happy face before we come to him. We can come to him when we need his peace, his guidance, and his hope. When we feel no peace, are completely lost, and have little to no hope. No part of our messy life scares him. Isn't that a relief? Through this week, we're going to talk about what prayer is. We're going to learn how Jesus prayed and how we can go to God about everything. We're going to talk about rethinking prayer that prayer is more than a formal conversation. It should be an ongoing conversation. This devotion also talks about how grace can be found through prayer. God wants us to bring our messy and broken selves to Him, plus so much more. I want to encourage you to head over to southpointforyou.com slash connect to follow along with us each day as we draw closer to God through prayer and also break down some of the fears that we may have around prayer. If you're an expert prayer, don't think that this devotion isn't for you. I'm sure even the best prayers could use a little reminder of the importance and significance of prayer. Each day's devotion will take you less than five minutes of your time. You can even set a reminder through the Bible app on your phone to remind you about our devotion. So. Head on over to southpointforyou.com slash connected and let's kick this week off on the right foot.